Hey everybody, it's Chris, and in this video we're going to learn about the most highly charged psychic state and how it is that each and every one of us experiences this state at least two times a day. Stay tuned. Let's talk about the hypnagogic state. The hypnagogic state is that interbetween state. Before we're asleep, we're not quite asleep though, and we're not fully awake. Each and every one of us experiences the hypnagogic state twice a day, at least, right? Because we wake up, and as we wake up, we're kind of coming up to the surface, and we're in that drowsy, tranced out state where we're sort of becoming aware, but we're not quite fully awake. Likewise, during the evening, when we're laying down and going to sleep, we start to drift, right? And as we drift, those images start to happen. Maybe we start to hear something, and we misperceive this as the dreaming state, when in fact, what we're, re what we're really experiencing is the hypnagogic state, and we are receiving clairvoyant images or psychic information. Anybody who wants to work with their psychic abilities develop and strengthen their intuitive abilities, wants to be hanging out in the hypnagogic state. This is the whole reason we do meditation, so we can get so deeply tranced out that we are just 100% in the receiver position and able to perceive whatever it is that spirit has for us. In my own life, it's when I'm waking up in the morning, you know, I'm just starting to get, it's just starting to become aware that I'm a human being on earth and I should be awake a little bit. I'm just, I'm super drowsy. Maybe I should go back to bed, but I'm not asleep and I'm not awake. This is the state where my mom, who passed away three years ago, chatters on. <laughs> she, I can wake up and my mom is talking to me about all manner of things. She may be talking about something she wants me to tell my husband. And she does talk about that a lot. Better tell that boy. Stuff like that. Or she's giving me a recipe, or she's telling me I shouldn't be throwing away the Christmas bows because they're still good. Things like that. My mom is in the morning talking to me right at the side of my bed, or so it seems, um, talking to me. And as I wake up and perceive my mother, I know what I must do is remain extremely passive. I can't just like look at the phenomenon or, or listen to my mom and say, oh my God, mom, it's you, because I'll wake right up. Right? I'll become fully aware and her, her voice and that whole psychic phenomenon will go away. I know that when I hear my mom or when I'm waking up and I'm drowsy, but I'm not fully awake, that I need to hang out there, spend time in that trance state in order to take in as much of the psychic information that's available. And there's a lot available at that time. Sometimes, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe this happens too. When you're coming up sort of like that periscope, you're starting to wake up, you're not fully awake though, you hear people talking. For me, it seems like I'm in a room where there's a party going on and nobody knows that I'm there. Just all this huge talking and I'm picking up on the spirits that are proximate, whether dimensionally or actually in my room, I can hear them. But if I chase the phenomenon and really try to hear what they're saying, I start to wake up. So I just have to hang out and perceive very passively the phenomenon and very peripherally, if you will, as if out of the side of my eye. And that's how I can take in consciously what's happening psychically in the morning and in the evening. As I said earlier, anybody who wants to increase their abilities, psychic and otherwise, wants to be hanging out in the hypnagogic state. You want to be inducing and prolonging that state as much as possible because that is a highly charged, fully psychic and fully phenomenal, in other words, there's all kinds of phenomenon happening that's a fully charged state. And if you can work with your consciousness and your ability to perceive, you will be very surprised what you will hear, what you will see, and what you will learn. 